missed y'all. I missed y'all. So I just got back from Florida the other day. I spent like almost three weeks in Florida because um, a family death, a, ugh, a death happened in the family. It was just a lot going on. Um, and I was celebrating graduations. That's why I was initially going there. So, you know, I'm just trying to catch y'all up. But right now, I'm about to head to Roxport, the Roxport in Memorial City Mall to go grab some lunch. They have this like real good snapper. It's so good. Like I never eat anybody else's snapper besides my mom or like island people because I feel like nobody else can cook um, snapper like we do. So I really don't like if it's not a Haitian person, I'm not going to eat it. But this restaurant right here their snapper and it's, it's not always on the menu so i called yesterday to ask when are they going to have it on the menu and they told me today so i'm going to head there and i'm going to do some work while i'm there i'm almost done with this project and i can't wait for y'all to um know all about it and hear all about it and you know it's definitely for my girls it's definitely for my girls okay so yeah and i have this i finally wore this top i bought it in mexico from zara Two in 2021. That's yeah, 2021 in Cancun. I bought this and it's so cute, but it's a little big now. But it's the perfect like summer, I think, top because it is like see through. It's like sexy and then it like ties and buttons up right here. And I just have my Warford. Um, what is this called? Like whatever shapewear. I don't even know what it's called. But I have that and I have these cargo like white off-white pants which matches really well with this top i got these from zara and i have my louis sandals which is about to like it's done like i really need new sandals like i really need to invest in new sandals i want to know can they repair these sandals everybody's telling me they love this color on me i would love to do this color like in like weave but i feel like blonde is so much maintenance but I would love to see this color in me on me, like with an actual hairdo. Cause you know how we all feel about braids. But this is definitely gonna be like my braid combination. And if you're wondering, the colors are 613, 27, number two, and silver. Yeah, so that's what it is. That's the braiding color. And then um, the actual, this hair is actually 27 and well, no, it's 27 mixed with 613. So that's why some pieces are a lot blonder and some pieces are like brown. And I bought this hair from Amazon. And I don't know what I feel about it because it it definitely sheds and it definitely gets tangled. And I don't know if it's the quality or is it just because it's 613 in it. Because 613, six, I don't know, maybe it is the quality. That's not that great. Yeah, that's true. Because it shouldn't be tangled. So... Yep, but let's go. This is the restaurant right here. So let me get out this car, honey. That's it right here. Let me get out this car. This is me taking taking myself on a solo lunch date. Because I really have food at my house. But I just figured, yeah, let me just treat myself. Because of everything that has been going on, like, I don't know. And I just really want the snapper. <laughs> Yeah, I need to clean, so that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, like cleaning. Because when I tell you when I got back home, that fridge is so stink. I don't know what is spoiled in there because I made sure to t to throw away all the food, most of the food. So I don't know what is stinking up that place. Ugh. Outside patio. This is attached to the mall. The mall is dead right now. So yeah. Oh. And hi, I'm just. Are do you? you yeah. Oh. Her. I hate vlogging in person. I hate vlogging in person. Oh. This is what I came for. 
this looks so good. Look guys. Y'all know I have a sweet tooth, right? I do have a sweet tooth. When I tell you this is so good, oh my God. This is so good. So good. Yeah. Thank you. Bro. I'm gonna rate everything when I get in the car because the lighting here is so bad. So I just wrapped up my solo lunch day and now I'm outside of H-E-B, which is a grocery store, and I get my eyebrows done here. I think I'm going to grab some Celsius while I'm here as well. And I need to go to T-Mobile store because my phone screen is, well, the screen protector is cracked. And um, I think they have warranty on this. I bought it from them, so yeah. I really, I don't know if it's the camera, but I'm really feeling this color on me. It's so cute. But um, another thing, why I left my food on the table at the restaurant, like I had it in my to-go box or whatever, and they threw it, and I went right back inside. Why they already threw away the food and was telling me I had to pay for if I wanted more? What? And all of a sudden they find it, but make me think, because I had a little premonition that they took it out of the garbage and then when I looked in my bag I didn't see um, my bread hmm. interesting <sighs> let me go it's so hot outside it's Ooh, things are going to be where my girl at hello hi I brought so, this is why I come get my eyebrows done, y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. This, no, don't cut this. I want this to, this to grow out. Yeah. Just. Get my Celsius. Hi, ma'am. If you got a bag, it would get bad. You vlogging? Yes. Oh, I don't know. You showing them oh, people that eyebrow stuff, dog? Yeah. Okay, they do. Yeah, because they, they get you up. Yeah, yeah, I only go to her. That's yeah, I only go to her. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, they done changed up H-E-B. Don't play with them. I need some flowers, but I'm going to go to H-E-B. I'm not going to lie. These flowers are $3. But I don't know how much the flowers is at H-E-B. Not H-E-B. Trader Joe's. Oh, these are cute. Oh, this is so cute. I don't remember what it was, but it's not here. And I haven't seen it here. But I think I'm going to... Get this because this is like one of my favorites. I shouldn't even be promoting Sophia because they didn't want to make me a brand ambassador and I'm always buying their stuff and always posting them. No. So, good morning. Sorry I didn't get back to you guys yesterday, but today is nail day. As you can see, my nails look crazy. Very crazy. Oh my God. Like, I need, I don't think. <laughs> I need to start taking care of my nails. They look so bad. They shouldn't look like this. I don't know what's going on. But this is like my little setup. So I'll be done in like less than an hour maybe. And then I have to record some content and head to the gym. And I'm just catching up on YouTube. Doing laundry. Remember we are cleaning this weekend. So yeah. So. 
So I finally got done with my nails. And yes, it's the same old, same old, no design. You know, I get, I get these Joe X. Um, they're not really press on, they're Joe X, but they already come with this design. I get them from Amazon and they're linked in my Amazon storefront. Everything that you will need to do your nails at home, to start to do your nails at home, because we're saving money. We're saving money. The last time I went to the nail salon to get my actual nails done, Sometimes I occasionally do a pedicure, I mean a manicure, but actually put like nails on was my birthday last year in 2022. And my birthday is in September. So guess how much money I saved. But I do need to go get my toes done, so I might go for a pedicure tomorrow. You're... Yeah. <sighs> so I'm about to record. I got these uh, in the mail and I have to record. This is a brand deal that I have. So I have to record content for this brand, Dare, well, what is it? G Pods, they're called G Pods. So these are called G Pods and they're really cool. And I'm tired of, I don't even own AirPods. I own one, literally one, because the other one is somewhere around here and I still can't find it. And it's been months. But these are so cool. Let me take this out of the box so you guys can see. Wait, how do you open this box? Hold on. Okay, and it's so cute. The packaging is everything. Look at that. And it comes with different like shelves for the actual um, pod. It's so cute and I just love the packaging. And you can use it with Apple and Android products, phones, whatever. So cute. So I, I only like working with brands that I would actually use. Like, oh, come on. It's not just about the money. It's about like really providing you guys with top quality like things. It's really about like giving my review on products that I will actually use. And if it benefits my life, I'm going to share with y'all because that's what it's all about. You know, word of mouth is the best advertisement. Okay. So I'm going to record... I think I'm gonna use my camera though. I gotta record like a TikTok video, so. And then I have to record video for makeup. But I think I'm gonna end up cleaning today. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna finish cleaning and then, but I don't like doing work on Sunday. So I think I'm gonna film today. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. See y'all at the gym. Okay, see y'all at the gym. Good morning! So today is Sunday, it is cleanup day. Um, I think I was supposed to get back to y'all when I went to the gym, or bring y'all to the gym. Oh, we did go to the gym, Never mind. So, I'm cleaning up, just fixing my bed. Oh, this looks so lovely, thank you. But the laundry is gonna be the biggest task. And I have to clean the fridge and stuff and mopping and so that's what we doing today but i'm gonna sit outside for a little bit enjoy a matcha my matchas haven't been hitting lately though my at home matcha is because i'm missing the brown sugar and i'm gonna i have to review um something i wrote my editor just got back to me i am creating a ebook which will help out the girlies to build your life to build your self-esteem to build your confidence to break free from soul ties honey to elevate your life. Okay, because we're not going back. We're only going forward. We're only moving forward. So, um, my editor just got back to me with all of the, like, corrections. So I'm just reviewing that, making sure everything's good, then send it back to her. So, I want to do that before I really start cleaning because, literally, I had to do it last night and I couldn't. Every time at night, like, when I'm sitting on my couch, like, in 
peace and quiet, God, it, it, he just be doing his thing. Like I was just sitting in like with the TV off, really trying to read this thing, review it. And I just got this. I'm gonna put up the video right here so y'all can really hear what exactly God gave me because I said it exactly how he said it. How he gave it to me, I mean, here's it right here. You shouldn't want anyone or anything that doesn't want you back in the same way or if not more. Do you know how frustrating it is to chase after something or force yourself into someone's life or into a job or into a situation that God did not call you to? It's like trying to squeeze in to shoes that are two size small, but you manage to get in, but you can't go the whole day with wearing those shoes because they hurt so much and they are so uncomfortable. And it clearly shows to everyone else that it doesn't fit you. You even know it doesn't fit you, but you want the shoes so much that you choose to wear them even though they're uncomfortable, but they're not for you. That's how it looks in the spirit when you try to force something to happen. We try to force yourself into someone else's life. It's not for you. Let it go. There's more to come. Did y'all catch that word? Did y'all catch that word? Did y'all catch that word? I'm sorry, I'm digging in my hair. But did y'all catch that word? Yeah, that was a word. God gave that to me in the midst of whatever. In the midst of me just sitting on my couch. And literally... Oh, I do need to get some toilet stuff. I know they said don't use this, but I'm gonna use it once. I'm gonna use it twice and then I'm gonna throw it away. Cause I know it holds up bacteria. So mind your business, I already know. Because the African washcloth was, my skin is very sensitive. And I think I was scrubbing too hard. I, it left like scratch marks on me. Probably, it's probably cause it's me. I know it's me, but I can't use stuff like that.
Yeah. So I just made cold foam. I think that's what it is. I just had the vanilla version of a, my favorite oat milk and I just whisked it and it turned into like whip. So, hmm, Starbucks who? So I just came from the grocery store. So today I'm going to be making for dinner, but I don't know what time. What time is it right now? I know that clock is not right. It can't be six o'clock already. Okay, it's 3.53 right now. It's 3.53 and I'm gonna finish cleaning. And once I'm done, I can make dinner. So I have to hurry up because I'm hungry. All I had today was that matcha. Um, so I'm making fried plantains in a cup. I'm gonna make it like a cup and I'm gonna make shrimp and like I already have the avocado mix. So, I mean guacamole mix. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have shrimp, plantain and guacamole cups. And I'm gonna also make a dessert that I found the recipe on, it's, no, YouTube. Off that I do eggs,
Aber ja. Mm. Yeah. I know. I know. I have a shirt on, so don't get it confused. I haven't picked you guys up since, I think, Monday. Today is Tuesday. Or maybe even the last time you see me was Sunday. But I just came from running errands. I can't speak about certain things too soon, Joe. I just came from running errands, and my Amazon package came in. Y'all know I like this milk. This is my favorite brand of oat milk. Oh, my God, son, hold on. It's his birthday today. Hey, Lottie. Hi, Messiah. Are you enjoying your birthday? I have one more. Praise God, I love these things. Tell me why I just came for my allergy test and I'm allergic to cats. Praise God. Because I don't even like cats. And no offense, if you're a cat person, me and cats do not get along. And I feel like that's an energy thing because I haven't even been around a cat for me to be allergic to one. I'm never too close to a cat. I will run. This is my dinner. I got some pita bread. Pita bread tomatoes with sea salt, cracked pepper, um, slightly air fried. Um, onions, zucchini, whatever it is, and the meat. And some hummus. And some crackers. Bye. Good morning. So today, oh my God, look at those horses. Wait, where are they? They are so pretty. I love seeing them. Like, I'm always so excited. So I'm at the mall right now and I'm in Saks. They have a lot of nice things. I just don't know what I want. I really want a, look at my face, it's so horrible. I have all these marks, acne marks. I can't wait today to get off my face. But anyways, um. I just, I want to dress because it's easier to style, but I don't know what style I'm looking for. I don't know. And I'm trying to look up like, what do you wear to award shows? And I'm like, uh, nothing is really coming up. Nothing too special in my Barbie shirt. People were calling me Barbie earlier. And I'm like, oh yeah, because I have it on my shirt. All right, I'll let y'all know when I try these on. See y'all later in the dressing room. I love this color. So pretty and it matches. The style of this dress matches summer and it matches my hair. And I can wear it again. That's what's key. And it was on the sale rack, 40% off in sacks. So it is a small and I'm not a small. So, and there's something that needs to be fixed in the back, so, but I can go to a seamstress and fix it. So, but I have one more dress to try. So let's try that on. baby shower I just like this so cute and I like the color it's cute I, I do like it look at the back and this is a size 8 I love the color though. So, like, it's not even doing it justice on camera. The, the way this dress fits me, I'll be a fool not to get it. It's so fitted and it's so heavy. I love the material. And it's on the sales rack. Look at it. It's so nice. Listen, why am I in Steve Madden trying to find heels? I just tried these on. They are the dupes. They fit really nice though. Let them oh, okay. Let me see. You guys, so I'm about to leave the mall. Like, I'm done. I'm done. But I just came to Nordstrom to get, like, what I came to. Oh, nippies. But I got the new one. Let me let you guys. Shout out to Cairo, because. You need a good nipple um, cover 
especially for the girls who don't like wearing bras or if you're wearing something that is kind of sheer so this is the new one and it pulls so I really am excited to try that and I'm gonna try with the dress I'm wearing to the BET Awards and guess what I'm still at the mall but look what I have it's so good I have sprinkles honey granola and cookie dough It's so hot in Houston. It's probably like a hundred something degrees right now. And when I tell you, it was not like this last year. Come on now. Hey you guys, so it's one more day until I go to California! Los Angeles to be exact. So I'm at the nail spot. Y'all, I'm about to go get my nails done. And you know, I haven't got my nails done since my birthday last year, which is which was in September. And I'm back at the same nail place that did my nails. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because, I do, one, I don't have the time to do my nails properly. Because if I rush to do my nails, they're going to end up popping off. And I don't want to have a pop-off nail situation while I'm in L.A. So, I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting acrylic nails. I'm gonna try not to do no design. I'm gonna get one color. Hopefully, I want that like little sparkle color. That I don't know if it's a polish though. I think it's a light. I don't know. But this place is very expensive. I'm gonna say that. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, this this place made me not do my nails no more. This place is the reason why this going to this place motivated me not to spend money on nails anymore and to do my own nails this place right here because um that three hundred dollar i was just like wait what and it was a simple design mm -mm, had that and that did include my toes though and like my eyebrows but still that's still ridiculous it's like most of my, like how much could a pedicure cost so the majority of the bill was my nails and did my camera just die on me in the middle of me talking but these are the nails now i have to go pick up the dress from Saks. so we're going to Saks now it's, oh my, it was just 21 minutes away now it's 23 minutes and it's 4 33 so we're gonna run into traffic especially going back home so i'm home in the dark because the power went out in the whole entire building and all the other buildings around me like it's not even raining though so i don't know what's going on and it's in the middle of me packing right now it's 11 all oh right now it's 11 11. It's 11, 11 p.m. And I was in the middle of packing my makeup, y'all. Look at this. Packing my makeup. Oh, my God. And I was in the middle of work waiting on this download. Now my, I don't have Wi-Fi, so the download probably didn't even complete. Gosh. Oh, my God. So, I don't know how long this is going to be. I should call the emergency. You see? I need to call the emergency line. Oh, and I was in the middle of ironing my clothes. Oh, my God. This is a bit much. But I'm pretty sure the hotel will have, like, a ironing board or, like, a steamer or something, hopefully. I guess I'm going to have to use my flashlight. And thank God I charged my phones. <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh, my food. So I'm at the airport. I think my, my face is clearing up. A little bit. So I'm at the airport. And uh, why well, I thought I was going to miss my flight. <laughs> I could have sworn that thing said 11.23. But then when I finally got to my gate, I saw it said like 12. I mean, 1143. I'm like, oh. Well, it was good that I was rushing though. Because, baby. I don't know. Oh, where are you sitting here? Oh, no. So, um. We off to LA. I can't believe I'm going. Like, bro. But I'll see y'all later. I look crazy. Look at my hair. I'm like. The power actually came back on in like an hour last night. 
But it was late. I was already asleep. Yeah. It's something about California. I don't know. It feels dreamy. It feels like movie. It may be all in my head, but I don't know. Because when I was in my Uber driving to the hotel, the windows, he had the windows like kind of cracked. And I was just looking out the window, scoping the scene. And it just felt like I was in my own movie theater. Like, it was like I was watching or in an episode of my life. I heard like the chatter. You know how you're watching a movie and, they, and they're in a scene where the person, the main character is in the car and they're driving to a destination and you hear people talking on the street. Da -da -da. That's how it felt. <laughs> yes, I made it to my hotel room and I'm on the 60 first floor okay what I noticed is that LA is full of hills okay little mountains okay um then the room is nice so let me give y'all a little room tour so boom here we go here's the door I'm staying at the intercontinental downtown LA this is my closet Okay, nice. I'm actually gonna hang clothes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna live in our suitcase. We're gonna be civilized. I have a um, a long mirror with LED lights. My New Balances are so dirty. Like, oh my gosh. And I like that it has this sliding door. But it's only me here, so whatever. I have a standalone shower. And I like that they separate the bath. I mean, they separate the toilet. You see the toilet with a door to, here's me again. Here, and the bathroom has a lot of space on the counter. So for makeup, yes, that's ideal. And it comes with this mirror. And it comes with a tub, which I probably won't use, nine out of 10, but it's nice to have. Let's see how bright these lights get though. Oh, okay, here's the light for that. How about this? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this is, oh, well this did get a little brighter. So yeah. This is everything. I don't like that they have this door. They have a connecting door. But, um, they have a TV, a desk, a long desk. They even have like coffee and stuff, a wine opener. You know, typical ice stuff. And this is probably not for free, which is not. Yeah. Let's see what's in the fridge. Oh, it comes with the fridge. That's nice. Okay. And I know this is not free, so. Yeah. It says for your personal use. But is 
Does it come with the room? I don't know. No, I don't want. I don't know. Is it free? Is it free? Take a shower. Try to get ready. I think I'm gonna go to this uh, charity um, celebrity basketball game. So yeah, I might go to that. We'll see if I don't take a nap. <laughs> but it's beautiful outside. I gotta be outside. I cannot be taking no naps, right? Ugh. Talk to y'all later. Cause tomorrow the pre-show is like comfortable, like festival attire. So I'm wearing the, these jeans and I might wear this something similar to what I wore to the basketball game. Or I might wear this top with it. Of course it's, it's, met, it's like see-through, but I'm gonna have this under it. Yeah. Hey you guys, so it's like three hours later. I'm just getting done with my makeup, put on my clothes, and guess what? My lady friend came to visit me and I have on white pants. How daring of me. I ain't, I never let my lady friend stop me from wearing what I want to wear though. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, this little Tresemme thing is coming in handy. The, um, like, what I did to my face. Like, I accidentally put primer on first and then moisturized. So, I don't know if that played a major factor or maybe it's just California. Okay. Now I gotta wash my hands again. Okay. And they have Byredo, okay? Byredo soap and stuff. Fancy. I don't even know if I'm saying that brand name right. I know I'm probably a little too classy for this little thing. I'm like, what does the girl think she's doing? That's how I dress. Sorry. I'm not, I don't have any other thing to wear, so. So let me put some lip gloss. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this. Let me see. Oh, okay, nothing. I don't know if I want to keep my because one side does have. More edges, which is this side. So, I don't know. Should I leave it like this? Or should I do the part in the middle? I don't know. No, I like this. Leave it like this. Oh my God, why am I dad calling me? So, I just wet my face. I don't want to move it. This is my makeup. Very pretty, right? This is what I have on. This Sandro top. The Zara white um, trousers. And these gold heels. Yep, 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 yep. So that's my alarm. I'm trying to speak for it. Well, I'm gonna head downstairs and we'll see. Oh, my bad. So I only brought two bags with me. Let me turn this alarm off. Ugh. I don't want to wear no bag. I really don't, cause this doesn't go either. I have to do. So I'm just gonna take this bag. They, the whole time, like I wore, y'all saw what I had on, right? So obviously nobody was dressed like that. That was like just so, like I don't want to say business casual, but I could really wear that to a business casual event as well. And I was just like, sitting there watching the game, and I'm in my on the inside. I'm like, yeah, I love hood stuff. <laughs> the whole time in my head, I'm saying that like, oh yes, this is hood, and I love it. But um, 
It was cool. I think there's like a few people from Love and Hip Hop that was like playing basketball. You know, I don't watch the show, so I don't know who those people are, but they were there. Um, and Jacques, Jacques was there as well, but he was like not playing. He was just kind of there in the audience, and well, he was really rallying them all up or whatever. Um, so tomorrow is the BT pre-show, so I have to get ready for that. Uh, that's later in the afternoon. Well, not late in the afternoon, early in the afternoon. So I'll be ready. I'll start to get ready around like, let's say 10 a.m. Because I have to be there at like 2.15. So I think 10 a.m., getting ready at 10 a.m. just to make sure I have everything together. If something goes wrong with my makeup, I can like have time to fix it. This time, nothing went wrong with my makeup. I really love my makeup for tonight, but you just never know. And you know, let me tell y'all something. So as I'm coming into the hotel, people just kept trying me with the water. Like, you know I love water. I need water to go to bed, right? So why I walk to 7-Eleven, mind you, I have my heels. Even though they're small hills, it's still hills. So I walked to 7-Eleven and the door was closed. I'm like asking strangers, like, hey, is 7-Eleven closed? They was like, no, there's people in there. So they start banging on the thing, pressing the button, and the lady was like, I'm closed, you need to go to sleep. I was like, it took everything in me not to like say something. I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna see her tomorrow. And the Holy Spirit convicted me like, You don't do on to others as they do on like why are you so offended that she said that? Like just move on with your life, girl. Like it's not that deep. So I walked back and then I went to where I checked in for my room. I'm like, hi, do you have bottles of water? She was like, um, yeah, we have the the mini bar. And I'm like, the mini bar doesn't have bottled water. It has Perrier and I, I didn't say the like the brand. I was like, it start. It has Perrier or whatever, Perrier, or whatever. Like Perry, and she was like Perrier. I was like, yeah, that's sparkling water. She was like, yeah, we don't offer. She says we do not offer complimentary water. I said, I don't mind paying for it. It's like, yeah, we can get you some Fiji water up, but you have to order it through your room. I've been to hotels before. I know I haven't been at this one, but that was kind of like weird to me that you're the front desk. Like, they're the person, like, why wouldn't you be able to order the water to me? Because, you know, it take a while for it to come. So, by the time you order and I go up, it, it some time has passed by. So, I went to the bar. The bar gave me water, but then my key didn't work. So, I went back to the, um, the front desk. And then I saw, I met with a different lady. And why the lady gave me four bottles of water that's, that were complimentary. I said, oh, you offer complimentary water? She's like, yeah. I said, oh, she told me she, you guys don't. These men, let me not say that. But you see what patients get you? Well, not getting offended get you? I was gonna spend my money at 7-Eleven to get bottled water. The lady tried me, I didn't react. The front desk girl tried me, I didn't react. I just walked away. When she was get, like saying little things, I just walked away because she was really being, like you know how people, I don't know what they, like in their mind, I don't know what, because if I'm here, that means I can afford it. I can afford being here if I'm here, if I'm checking in, I have a room, I'm not just lollygagging. So it's just like, what? And I walked away, but you see how God made it so my key didn't work so I can go back and be able to get four free bottles of water that no money didn't have to come out of my pocket and I drink water like a fish. Okay? Thank you, God. Thank you. Look at that. That's a to some people that's like, oh that's nothing. That's but that's a major blessing to me because that's saving me money and giving me, providing me what I need. Because I would have never bought four bottles of water. Because I know the water she was trying to sell me was Fiji water, and that probably would have been like four or five dollars. I would have bought like one or two for right now. But I have four now. Thank you, God. Thank you. You see, there's always a blessing in something. Because if I would have reacted, I don't think that would have been the outcome. Because I probably would have been so pissed. It just wouldn't work out. But you see how God always works things out in your favor when you be obedient and you live according to how he wants you to live and treat people how he wants you to treat people? 
you always be blessed in the end. You always have exactly what you need and want in the, ooh, in the end. Okay? Good night, y'all. Take off this makeup. See y'all tomorrow at the BET pre-show. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Um, of course, I just opened the blinds because who would have woke up with sunlight in their eyes? Never that girl. Mm -mm. But um, right now it is 7.25 a.m. And I went to bed around like Maybe two or one. But my alarm is set for nine. And I don't know why I'm up. I guess I got enough sleep. But I woke up with cramps. But they're not too bad. It's not It's not cramping. Let me not say. It's just feel. You know that feeling in your stomach. Like, oh my God. I just want to stay in bed. So I'm going to take some all later on. After I eat breakfast. Because today is the BT pre-show. And where it's like a festival. That's what it says in the itinerary. Like it's a festival kind of vibe. So. Look at my view. Your kids kept it inside, didn't tell no one else, didn't even want to admit it to yourself. And now your chest burns in your back.
what they say I'd be starving if I ate all the lies they fed Cause I've been redeemed from your anguish and pain A miracle child, I'm floating on a cloud Cause the words that come from your mouth You're the first to hear Speak words of beauty and you will be there You like, you like. I really like my makeup. Yeah, so I'm gonna get dressed right now. Get ready with me for the BT pre-show awards. BT awards pre-show. Get ready with me for the BT. So this is my final outfit. I have my Warfort top on, my Zara jeans my Zara uh, mesh top on, some rings from Amazon, rings from Amazon. Rings from Amazon. And my Jordan ones, green and white. I don't know how should I, if I should tuck it or leave it like this. I don't know. But this is it. And here's my makeup. I don't know if I should do my hair up. I think so. And do something. I like to have it flipped over. I like it flipped over. Like this. Yeah, I think I like it flipped over like that. Let me kind of make it like neater. I wish I had something like a... Yeah, this is it. This is freaking it. Uh, uh, I think that one needs to stay. Or even this one. Yeah, what y'all think? Is this good? I think it is. But talk to y'all later. I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I can't bring the camera. Listen, I'm just getting in. I don't even think it's that late. Oh, it's not. It's 1137, but I'm exhausted. Exhausted. Couldn't have my phone out, which I really expected. But I'm tired. And we have to be there at the BET Awards tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. I'm gonna sleep. I met some great people that I can say. That's the reason why I'm out so late. Let me say that. That was the highlight. I met some great people and I spent like the whole day with them. I spent my whole entire day with them. I met three guys and one girl. And mind you, only one person knew two people. But everybody like met each other today. Like we were all pretty much strangers. Only one of them knew like whatever. And I can't stop eating, it's not my fault. I know I'm not gonna fit into that dress tomorrow. That's sad, cause the other dress is not hitting. But um, hopefully I can fit into it, you know? We'll, we'll see. But see y'all tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. 
good morning. So, like, I have my sunglasses on because it's just, I, it's right, oh my God, I can't even speak right. It's 8.30 a.m. I'm still tired. And I have to be at the BET Awards. Today's the award show ceremony, whatever. At 11.30, I ran out of pads and I have like one tampon left. So I have to, I just ordered on Instacart. Praise God for Instacart. That's the one, yeah, always comes in clutch. But I want breakfast. I'm going to try on this dress, see if it still fits me. And I have to record off of my phone because my memory card is full on my camera. And yeah. Oh. And I could record, I know I can't record much from um, like at the beach to work, but I'll try to like to get the footage of us waiting in line to get in. I'm listening to church right now, but look how bloated I am. There is no way anybody else <laughs> I just ate breakfast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus. Let's pray this dress fits because I really want to wear this dress, man. Ugh. So this is an episode of Insecure. Hey, what's what's Issa Rae's birthday? Oh, um, what's his name? Issa Rae's um. Rapture? No, the the his her boyfriend in Insecure. What's his name? Oh, um, Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. You is not Lawrence. No, he's Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> his mental. Oh, God. Because you're dark skinned. Oh, Daniel. Yeah, that's, that's the one he cheated. Yeah, yeah, that, was that wasn't her boyfriend. Oh. That was her side boo. She got Lawrence with. Hey, baby. Sezus. Hey, Amsterdam. Hey, Amsterdam. Hey, Amsterdam. Hey, Amsterdam. Hey, Amsterdam. Right now, we're walking to town. We're going to get something to eat because we didn't eat. And then we're going to. This water. We're going to. um. We're going to Vermont, not the place Vermont. <sighs> I feel bloated. I feel like I'm so hungry. Hey, I'm just walking. I don't know if we're going the right direction. I hope the person that told us how is a four, five minute walk is no, knows where he's going. We live in our best life. I'm in LA. So I'm checking out of my hotel. Today is Monday. Um, my flight doesn't leave until like 
7 p.m. So I'm gonna be at airport at around like four, no later than five. But I don't have nothing else to do. Like I have to check out right now. It's a 10 something. And it's just like, what? I don't have nothing to do. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna take these with me. These are really good. Take these with me. So we'll see what we get into. So I am just walking around these LA streets. Might have figured out what I'm about to do. I'm about to go. About to go get something to eat. But I'm first I'm gonna go to Sephora because I don't have any lip gloss. So I'm gonna just go to Sephora, put on some lip gloss, and then we outside. So I am back in Houston. I got in late last night like around well early this morning around like what time was it like two in the morning i got home or was it no i got home yeah like two my flight landed at it was delayed it got here around like one something by the time i got home and got in bed it was like two something so yeah but la is definitely going to see me again i'm definitely going back to la and it's so hot outside and today i choose to sit by the or, um, pool and work because I just felt like I wanted to be outside but now I'm hot <laughs> hey bro but I got my Bible. Uh, my journal where I'm gonna write a letter to God really quick and I got my Bible and I got some work to finish up I can't wait to introduce you guys to what I well I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on yeah and my face is clearing up slowly but surely I can't wait till these acne marks go away. But yeah. Signing out of this vlog. I hope y'all loved it. I love y'all. Toodles. And two times for a holy girl summer. A holy girl summer. It's not to say you're going to do everything right. But you're going to be trying to follow the Lord and get closer to him. That's all it is. Another thing. A lot of people have been using my sound on Instagram. Um, and like they haven't been tagging me, which I'm like, mm, I don't really care because everybody knows my well, not everybody knows my voice, but people who send it to me obviously they know my voice. Like, oh my god, that's your voice, and they're using your voice. Mm, I try not to get feel no type of way because they don't even take it off my original video, so it never gets back to me. Like, for new people to find me, um, so yeah, I don't know. But mm, as long as the message is getting out there, that's what I have to remember. As long as the message is not about numbers or anything, to, as long as God's message is being um, circulated, and it's, if it's me being used to do that, that's whatever. I'm never going to miss nothing that's for me. That's all I got to say. Oh, but two times. Bye, y'all.